time to crack open the sports page with the Orlando Sentinel and FM 96.9 The Games, Mike the Bulldog Bianchi. On JRR. Uh, do we need to start off by throwing things over to the F1 desk? Big uh, race this weekend down in uh, South America, the <laughs> Sao Paulo uh, Rolex Grand Prix F1. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and go on a limb here. 50 to 1. We have the winner of the race being one Max Verstappen, win another win number 457 for the season. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> NASCAR championship this weekend, guys. That's right. Uh, at Phoenix, my guy in it, uh, obviously, Kyle Larson, the guy I picked to win the championship. He will be there uh, along with three other drivers who are in the final four. Ryan Blaney, of course, raced his way in last week. So it's going to be Ryan Blaney, Kyle Larson, Christopher Bell, and William Byron. Uh, two Hendrick Motorsports drivers in there, Larson and Byron. So maybe they have a little bit of advantage, although they're not going to be working together. This is for the title. Nobody's nobody's teammates this weekend. Who are you picking, so, Lynch? I'm, I'm sticking with William Byron. Okay, Byron for him. Who's your guy again? I know you've said it for Larson. the last. Larson. Larson. Picked I'm, him from the beginning. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm picking Blaney. Me and Blaney go ways back. Hard, hard working dude to make it in there. We go back except, about about four you, minutes. It was you and Dave Blaney, right? Not Ryan yeah, 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 right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, uh, Thursday night football last night. Steelers get a big win over the Titans. Kenny Pickett throws a late touchdown pass. They win the game. What was the score? Twenty to sixteen. I yeah. couldn't stay up and watched watch the whole thing, but. Uh, Steelers did win. They continue to sort of muddle around and win. They're five and two now. So give the Steelers credit. Um, it doesn't feel like a five and two, as you pointed right. out. It's just yeah, right. yeah, not at but, all. You know that that's a well-run organization. We know that uh, we know that Mike Tomlin, obviously a really good coach, been the coach for a while, and they you know they just find ways to win. They know how to manage the salary cap. All of that. Magic got a road win last night, doggy. Yeah, Paolo That's turned right. it around, and, huh? Yeah, I was a little concerned about Paolo Bancara. Got off to a slow start this season. Well, guess what? He came out last night, unbelievable. 30 points, hits the uh, game-winning uh, drive with 14 seconds left. They beat uh, the Jazz last night 115-113. to 113. They split their four-game road trip out west, which is good. So, uh, but, but... Saturday night, must win, must win. Lakers coming to town. There's going to be all those Lakers fans in the Amway Center. Magic need to get a win on Saturday night. Send a message. Time is nigh, must win game. That would be nice. Okay? That would be mm-hmm. nice. Yeah. Lightning lose on the road 4-2 at Columbus. They're off to a rough start this year, man. What's their record now? Oh, i got to look at it here. I don't have it off the top of my head. It doesn't matter till the playoffs. Come on. Well, yeah. You know. Lightning are uh, four, three, and three. Okay. Okay. Uh, football this weekend. You want to start college or NFL? You're tr- you, you, this is your segment, brother. All right. Let's start. Let, let's start college since you know Saturdays. We do. We do have Daniels coming in a little bit later. So if you you don't have time to get to all of them, don't don't feel guilty. He, he'll okay. uh, pick up the slide right. for you. Well, uh, uh, our Air Force Academy they uh, they're, they're going for the Commander in Chief's Trophy against Army this weekend. I think they'll win that game. Um, Air Force still unbeaten. Arkansas, Florida Gators should win that game. Arkansas winless. In the SEC, of course, the Gators aren't that good either. Uh, Florida State should have their way with Pitt, which got blown out last week by Notre Dame. Miami, NC State, watch out for the Wolfpack if you're the Hurricanes. You want to win that game so you can go into the Florida State game next weekend on a hot streak. Um, I don't know if Miami wins that game, quite frankly, although they're favored. And UCF, they have to win this week. They're at Cincinnati. Cincinnati also winless in the Big 12. UCS favored by three and a half. If they don't win this game, mark my words, they'll go three and nine this year. Okay, so they question. On that uh, That being said, if they lose and you said that uh, – who, who was the other one you mentioned came from uh, that other league to the Big 12 that's, that's winless? Cincinnati. 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 Okay, no, I just want to check because because I'm going to rewind all the way to Pittsburgh. How's Pittsburgh doing? Because they came up to the Big Twelve with us too, correct? Huh? Oh, uh, I thought so. No. The ACC. They're ACC. Oh, okay, I have no idea. I don't know how to keep track. I just make it. 
East and West Coast. <laughs> you may be thinking of Houston. Make it Bloods and Crips. <laughs> yeah, Houston. Yeah, Houston came in with you yeah. as well. Houston, we have a problem. Forget what I All just right, said. NFL, the big NFL, the big game. Obviously, the Miami Dolphins versus the Kansas City Chiefs in Germany. Both of those teams are six and two. Dolphins need to make a statement. Even though they've had a great season so far, they haven't beaten anybody. They've beaten a bunch of Humpty Dumpties. This is their chance to sort of make a statement that we are a contender in the AFC. Uh, Tyreek Hill obviously going against his former team, the Chiefs. He's been talking trash, as you knew he would. He said they're, go- so quote, your- going to get this work. Yeah. I think He's that's a, be, I I think it's a rap lyric right there. That's a profound statement is what that is, fellas. Yeah. I can't wait to get up Sunday morning and start watching little Dolphins Chiefs. How good is that going to be from over in Germany? Oh, yeah. Uh, Bucks take on the Houston Texans. Uh, Bucks have lost three in a row. If, if their offense struggles again, I'm telling you, this will be the last week for Baker Mayfield. Their offense has to pick it up. They're three and four. Again, they've lost three straight. The Texans are actually favored over the Buccaneers, believe it or not. The Texans have been, pl- uh, the Texans have been playing pretty well. I think they've won. They won three of their last four. Yeah, yeah Texans they, they, have won three of their last four. So they're playing well. Uh, their rookie quarterback, C.J. Stroud, even though he didn't play well last week, is looking pretty good. Uh, other big NFL games, obviously, Dallas at Philly. Can't that's wait for that na- one. Yeah. That's the big national game. Buffalo at Cincinnati. The Bengals are look like they're back. Joe Burrow's healthy again. So that's a good game. Seattle at Baltimore, another good game. Um, those are the ones I have circled. I, I don't know if you guys have any other ones you're interested in. I, I should just make a note here for those of you wondering. Uh, the Meatheads uh, have the bye this weekend. Mm-hmm. So. A lot of buys. As do the Jaguars. As yes. do the Jaguars. It's the bye weekend, right? Yeah. Well, there's bye weeks most weeks. For, uh, there wasn't there's last weekend. There's a lot weekend. more this weekend, though. Well, there were none last weekend. Yeah. There's four four teams off. Oh, I know that stuff from Fantasy, Pat. I am a manager. I, I, I forget this. I, my apologies. By the way, it was made official yesterday. <laughs> manager, this, this was I <laughs> this was the them. least manager it in was charge. The least watched. It was the least watched World Series in history. Really, yeah. that we, was made official yesterday. We all do. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sure the Rangers still get their parade, don't they? Of course they do. They okay. hadn't won a ti- they hadn't won a title in 63 years. Right. So yeah. right. Hopefully, They're Creed gives them a private show. <laughs> well, they are touring. Here's my question. If Orlando City wins the MLS Cup, do we do we have a parade in Orlando? Can we have a parade? We Oops. never get to have parades. I want a parade. You should head the parade. I love a parade. Pat loves boating. I, I love, love boating on someone else's boat. <laughs> All right, dog. Have a great weekend, man, and we'll uh, circle back on Monday for Overreaction Football Monday. There's never a shortage of uh, those things happening over the weekend, right? Let's do it on Monday. Oh, oh. This is JRR.